All right, gang, and welcome back to Procreate. So this is one of the most exciting lessons in Procreate. This is going to be our lesson on texture brushes. All right, so what I'm going to show you how to do is take this elephant texture, which I've included in the downloads, and I'm going to show you how to create a brush out of it. So to do that, let's start out in our gallery. Let's go ahead and grab a square canvas. Now, one of the common things here, the bigger the canvas, the better your texture is going to be. Now, the texture sample that you've got should be a high resolution and the canvas needs to be square. So let's go ahead and import the image. So we're going to import a photo. We come over to our photos and find the elephant texture. All right, perfect. Now, one of the things you're looking for, a good texture needs to be evenly lit. All right, so you see here, I'm going to point to it. You see where it's not really evenly lit? It's on these sides there. That's going to lead to a very inferior texture. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to import this bad boy, just like we did before. All right, and then you're going to blow it up until you get a good, nice, even texture out of there. I think that is going to work just fine. Notice how I cut out a lot of the underlit and the overlit stuff. All right, so once you've got this on here, go ahead and kill that transformation. Now what we're going to do, we're going to use two adjustment layers. We're going to desaturate the thing. Now we're dealing only in black and white, right? So when you do this part, make sure you're in black and white, and then you're going to add a curves adjustment. Now the curves adjustment, make sure you're set to composite. Shrink that bad boy over here, and then turn this all the way up. Going all the way up. That's right. I just did that. Okay. And I think we're probably good right in there. Now the thing you want to remember about this, Black conceals, white reveals. So what you're going to want inevitably is you're going to want to invert this texture eventually. So let's go ahead now. The curves adjustment is done. All right. Now what you're going to want to do, you're going to break up this texture a little bit because you don't want it to look square. So to do that now, we have to paint on the white. So we'll grab our white color, the whitest white we got, right? The pure white. And then we're going to pick a brush that really doesn't have a lot of uniformity to it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this fat nozzle. And then I'm going to go around the edges of this thing. So I'm going to shrink this bad boy down. And I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to crank up the opacity. And I'm going to begin clipping away portions. What I want to do, you see, I'm breaking up the uniformity of the texture. Okay. This is key. This is how you avoid getting that square look to your texture and you want to make sure you're stark white, right? Okay. So I think we're pretty good there. So the key to a good texture brush folks prepping the right image is the contrast. So you know how to get the contrast, you know how to choose an appropriate texture, you know how to desaturate it, and you know how to break away the hard edges of this contrast. Now, in order to do this, we're now going to take the next step. You're going to come over here to the wrench. You're going to share it and you're going to save it as a JPEG. Then you're going to save the image. That's all you got to do. All right. Now here's a pro tip. Keep this file because if you make the brush and you want to adjust to the texture, you want this file to be there. You don't want to have to redo it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take the next step and I'll show you how to actually make the brush out of this bad boy.